In this session, I'll show you how to install the FCP10 agent for integration with Final Cut Pro 10. To begin, let's go to the plugin page of the Keyflow Pro website, keyflowpro.com. Then click the Download Now button. To install, drag and drop the FCP10 agent into your Applications folder. Next, go to Final Cut Pro 10 and then choose File, Share, Add Destination. Double click the export file on the right, click Open With, and then select the FCP10 agent for Keyflow Pro. You can then rename this destination as you like, e.g., Send to Keyflow Pro. Now let's cover specifically how Keyflow Pro interacts with Final Cut Pro 10. There are two ways to send media from Keyflow Pro to Final Cut Pro 10. The first way is simply to drag and drop the media to Final Cut Pro 10 directly. Then, as you can see, the tags and color you entered are applied to the clip as keywords in Final Cut Pro 10. The second way is using the Send to Final Cut Pro 10 option in the context menu. Then, the media will be automatically imported as an FCP XML file into Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see, just like the first method, the tags and color you entered are applied to the clip as keywords in Final Cut Pro 10. Conversely, all keywords that you'd entered in Final Cut Pro 10 will appear as tags in Keyflow Pro and the Finder. If necessary, you can modify share attributes in the Share Inspector, for example, adding copyright and genre attributes. Before sending to Keyflow Pro, if you assign a workflow to the target project, and check this option before media are imported from Final Cut Pro 10, the workflow will be performed automatically when media are imported from Final Cut Pro 10. After editing clips, click the Share button, then select the Send to Keyflow Pro option. Enter the metadata you need, and then click the Next button. It will launch the FCP10 agent automatically. And if this is the first time, you have to select the library and project into which the media will be imported. Then, next time, it'll be selected automatically as the default library and project. If necessary, you can change the location that stores the actual media to a specific location. By default, the media will be stored inside the library. When the Export FCP XML Only option is checked, only an FCP XML file will be exported, and not a movie file. By default, both a QuickTime MOV and an FCP XML file are exported at the same time. After that, click OK. As you can see, you can monitor the sharing status in real time. A green check mark appears on the right of the list when the job is completed. Here, we see that the QuickTime movie and the FCP XML file have been imported into Keyflow Pro. As I said previously, the workflow is performed automatically when media are imported from Final Cut Pro 10. Also, by clicking this icon, you can monitor the background jobs in real time. If we bring up the Get Info window in the Finder, you can see the same tags and metadata in the Finder that you entered in Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching this Keyflow Pro tutorial.